In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite defense for defending the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. This is the culmination of a lot of lab work and really understanding how the Gun Bunch works this year and a lot of the popular concepts in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel and you would like to learn more about match coverage, I have an, actually an entire ebook devoted to teaching all of the match principles from cover three buzz match to cover four quarters to palms to six to nine to trap to meg um, to meg cone um, to connie all of those different types of concepts and so if you want to learn all of the coverage rules and how to apply them and how to help them improve and also what beats them and what what you can do to kind of hedge your bet in terms of running these coverages I would really encourage you to get into my Patreon membership because by becoming a Patreon member, you're not only going to get access to one ebook, you actually get access to all 26 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. And so if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can check that out after the video um, if you'd like to. But guys, let's talk a little bit about the bunch and why I love this defense against it. And the defense that I just keep coming back to um, in terms of its ability to be able to consistently defend um, the things that the bunch formation want to do. It is either, either the cover four quarters or the cover four palms are my two favorite plays um, for defending this formation. I'm going to show you my couple reasons as to why that is. Now, um, if you wanted to, you can run man, you can run match, you, you know, you can kind of do this. But um, like I said, I'm going to be teaching it primarily out of cover four quarters but you could very well apply this principle actually you know what we're going to teach it out of cover four palms today i've broken down quarters in the past you can really use either one of these i want to show you the major difference between the two of them so the major difference between these two coverages is whenever you get this right here which is actually a fairly rare check but if they were to for example to motion Scotty Miller to the outside and maybe put him on a smoke and then they maybe streaked Rob Gronkowski. If I'm in cover for palms, you'll see that that outside quarter on the right will come down and that quarter flat will now be responsible for defending that corner route. So that's kind of honestly something that I like to have to be able to audible to in a situation where they're going to do that because the problem is we're going to be adjusting our coverage to hedge our bets with things like flood and really defending bunch like as compression if they motion a receiver out to the outside we need to be prepared to audible or make a check call to change the defense because we're going to be adapting the coverage and the coverage therefore can't necessarily adapt to a changing formation i'll show you an example of what i'm getting at you'll see here this is cover four quarters and let's say they run cover four quarters on on this combo and you'll see it defends it significantly differently um, that that outside corner is not quite as tied to coming down in now where this can become problematic is let's say that they put this guy on a drag of some type this is where the quarters coverage can be a little weird you'll see that this will out leverage to the sideline actually played it fairly decently but a lot of times that motion slant or even better like this is another tactic that a lot of pro players are doing right now where they're taking uh, Miller and they're motioning him out and like kind of snapping him like right out here this can be you know a little bit weird for this coverage but anyways um, just something to understand now um, I'm in the slot cornerback package on Big Nickel over G whenever I run this and the reason why is so that I can get um, you know, deep half and inside quarter adjustments to my players. And basically how we're gonna set this up is fairly simple. We're gonna get what's known as a box check to the right side, which is essentially we're trying to get four, um, we're trying to get four over three on the right. And then we're trying to get three over two on the back side and really also have a plus one poach defender. Now, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite reasons for running this defense is uh, it pertains to the very ever so popular four verticals play out of the gun bunch. What you're gonna notice in this is that this crossing route is going to just completely burn the match coverage across the formation. And this is one of the many reasons as to why I really like the big nickel over G defense because what I can do is just by showing blitz, you're gonna see that by bringing this guy down into the box, he's gonna be in a lot better of a position to bait and cut this backside crossing route. So you'll see now, if I run that same crossing route, he's now in a prime position to be able to cut and take it all the way to the sideline and be able to take that route away. That is one of the number one reasons as to why I actually 
prefer quarters or palms as opposed to cover six or cover nine in terms of de defending the gun bunch primarily because of how that player does how effective he is at cutting the crossing route out of verticals now let me show you another popular route combination and that is the z spot uh, combination or z you know something like this very popular you're going to notice that with this defense it's going to play really really good um, against this because the whole idea of match coverage is it was designed to um, at least in this example defend these you know not having players drifting and not having players dropping to spots but as opposed to having them match uh, strategically to getting proper leverage and having the right angles to cut certain routes such as a corner route you're gonna see here that the quarters are gonna swap off and you see that I get really good match coverage on that corner route and I'm able to take away that corner route with ever without ever having to set any zone drops without ever having to do any of that and so as you can see that's one of the big reasons I like this play now another popular thing that I want to point out here is the smash return and so the smash return if you take a look here at this coverage um, is going to be really good uh, for or, or the match is going to be really good against this too so any corner route really you see here the tight end corner um, gets matched by the slot now I will say that what we would rather see because based on the adjustments that I typically like to run on this um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna purple that slot corner and deep half the right side guy which I'll come back to in just a second but what you'll see with with uh, smash return is it's kind of interesting how this how this will play um, but as you can see right there there's the outside corner kind of knows his responsibility and bails back to cover the tight end now the main receiver on the field that you really need to pay attention to in my opinion um, at least from a adjustments perspective is the slot on the bunch side and the tight end on the bunch side and so let me show you something else that we can do with this so my base adjustments I like to man up this left side guy um, before I do that though I like to typically shade my coverage up what you're gonna notice that's gonna do is it's gonna turn those purple zones into curl flats now really important if they motion out into that if they motion that bunch side receiver outside you need to be checking into a stock palms or something because if you don't you're going to get manipulated by corner routes and things like that you need the stock palms check which will be fine against that in particular adjustment so anyways um, I'm gonna shave my coverage up then I'm gonna man up that solo receiver with this guy now why would I do that it gives this guy much more freedom in the defense and it gives this guy much more freedom in the defense and so another popular route concept that a lot of people like to run this year is they like to run basically a, an out route and a wheel and what you'll see with this match is this curl flat will actually match to that running back late in the play um, now it is something to kind of monitor here and I'll explain it a little bit more in just a second but what you'll notice here, again, I'm going to shade coverage up. Man, that guy up. If you just watch this running back wheel develop here, you will see that when he passes him, like he does have a step, and you see how the curl flat kind of, like he covers him, and then he kind of bails away. Now, again, you're going to have a user on the field. So if you see that, you can kind of go help that help, help that concept. Because typically, like that's going to be in a situation where, you know, let's say they run, let's say that they run something like this where they go, out of verticals they do something like this like mesh spot basically if you get in a if you get in a situation where they're running something like this I think the the running back is the natural lurk because you're gonna have some stuff for the tight end so that's just something to kind of um, just keep in the back of your mind but I want to show something with the quarter flat the quarter flats not terrible um, you'll see here this quarter flat um, if I try to throw it you see it matches it the one thing I would say is it's a, it's gonna top the route so it's a little there's a little bit of a window and I'll show you real quick here there's a little bit of a window with this quarter flat to be able to throw the wheel um, if they just simply lowballed it so low ball passing inside you see how I can cut that off so that's just something that I'm trying to kind of hedge my bet against a little bit which is why I prefer the curl flat and it also saves me an adjustment because in one adjustment I could put two curl flats on the field and then what I like to do on this backside here is I'm gonna bluff blitz the nose or the D end. And what you'll see from this bluff blitz that's really effective is if they run this, he will basically, they'll kind of bracket the running back. And then you'll see here if the running back keeps running, 
they they'll you see how he matches them. So as long as you have an, a, an athletic guy, it's going to be okay. Okay, as long as you three you need to bluff blitz the defensive end on that side. So from an adjustments perspective, we're going to show blitz, pinch our line, crash out, bluff blitz the DN on the bunch side, man up the solo wide receiver on the bunch side. I like to shade up. And then from here, what I want to what I want to do is either a couple different things. I like to deep half this guy, and then if you want to, you can do a couple different things on the right here. Um, I like to vert hook, or if I want to leave him blitzing, like let's say they have two post ups, I could leave him blitzing if I wanted to. Um, I could also, you know, I could also put him in a vert hook. I think the vert hook is decent. But what I want to really get across here, you, I don't necessarily like to man this guy up because when you man him up it does mess with the match a little bit so that's just something to kind of like think about so you know again vert hook him or whatever but what you need to understand is if they run a wheel route to the you're not covering the wheel route to the left anymore your really primary concern is getting over here and covering this because you've got this really good uh concept on the right to take away any of that stuff so if you see a wheel route to the tight end i personally think that's where you want to be kind of focusing on your defense so anyways guys that's pretty much the, that's pretty much it i mean with the shaded up coverage what's really good about this shaded up coverage you got the deep half there so you're not gonna have to worry too much about getting burned over the top and then what i like about this shaded um coverage where i got the curl flats is when they run something like flood you see that this plays it really well and uh, the curl flat will be able to kind of lurk the flood route which is one of the more popular adjustments and then the other thing that I want to point out is let's say that they run, I'll give you one last one, PA Dig Fork. It's going to be kind of obvious that they're running PA Dig Fork, but I will say that this inside quarter on the left, if you, because we've manned up that guy, that inside quarter is free to roam. So you're going to see here that this, this route combo, he's going to get out leveraged, of course, but he is, that's his job. Okay, so if you, you know, if they're running that over and over again, like, you know, maybe just kind of moving back or, or whatever, you can kind of hedge your bet a little bit more than what I am. I, I make sure you pass commit, of course. But if you see two verticals on that side of the field and that's the only thing you're going to see, you got to trust your underneath coverage a little bit more. And if that's the case, if I actually trust that underneath coverage, you know, I'm going to bail to help with this deep post from circle so you see here i'm gonna get back get back get back and i'm just gonna help with this and as you can see i mean that that's pretty much a cage so anyways that's the bunch defense one of my favorite defenses i've cooked up all year and i think it's very effective for defending wheels because you the basically the left side wheel is very difficult to throw because you have it inside outed and then on the right side you you could just man the guy up on the tight end um but I have found just using the tight end wheel is a little safer. Um, or if you really don't want to use the tight end wheel, you would need to shade down and then maybe you like, you know, maybe use her this guy in the in the defense and then drop the you know purple to that D end. You could do that as well. I like to keep this guy. Um, so like if I shaded down, it went purples. And then I would basically take this guy here. That three rec would guard the tight end wheel. And then I would need to make sure, you know, that I blitz my user. And then I would need that curl flat. And, and I'll show you, this is not terrible defense. It's, it's still like, you'll see this running back route and you'll be like, eh. Because it's kind of baggy, like right there. But the problem is the over the top thing. And so that's where you got to be a little careful uh, with the coverage. But other than that, um, that's re it's really good bunch defense. So anyways, if you want to learn all the principles of match coverage and how to stop everything in the game, the Patreon has everything in it. It's only $10 to sign up, get you access to everything. I really believe that in the summer months, that's where best the best Madden players are practicing getting better, especially people that might be you know newer to the game or just, just kind of getting into serious Madden. This is the time of year where you really want to practice your route combinations. And I feel like I personally get better a lot in the summer as a player that will carry into the fall season. So if you want to really, you know, again, no days off kind of thing mentality. If you really want to get serious about getting better, I'd get in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. Get access to so much material, 
that will make you a better player in this game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the membership, get all the guides. There's a link in the description below.